Meanwhile, Daesh has claimed responsibility for a suicide bombing in Yemen. Local media is reporting that 60 people were killed when the attacker drove his car into a group of army recruits at a training camp in northern Aden. Doctors Without Borders say that dozens of people have been injured and 45 bodies have been brought to their hospital. Bombings in the southern port city are often carried out by Daesh. The terror group is expanding its reach in Yemen as the war between the government and Shia-backed Houthi rebels grinds on. Let's get more on this. Speak to Mohammed Al-Atab. He's a journalist who is live for us in Sana'a. Good to see you, Mohammed. Give us a bit more detail about this uh, attack and why are we seeing this increase in attacks by Daesh in Yemen? Yes, uh, the, uh, regarding the, uh, the latest uh, suicide bombing that uh, targeted uh, army recruits uh, in a military camp north of the coastal city of Aden, uh, that claimed the lives of over uh, 62 uh, army recruits. Uh, it's one of the biggest uh, suicide bombings carried out by Daesh in, in, in Aden. Uh, it's uh, the, the as you as you ask your question about the well, what's the reason about the increase of uh, uh, suicide bombings and uh, terrorist attacks against the army, security personnel, also government officials. Uh, the the Al, Al Qaeda that uh, this is planning as uh, they have declared that they, uh, they are planning to uh, reclaim what they what they describe the uh, the uh, Islamic State and the, uh, the 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 consider the coastal city of Aden as a strategic position uh, to 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 carry out their operations and also uh, to, to to take control the, of this important uh, strategic position as it's overlooking the Red Sea and also the Arab Sea uh, on, the, on, the, on the other side. It's an important passage of the, uh, of the trade uh, sh of ships and also it's a sea tr uh, roads for important, uh, for the, nearly for 70% of the uh, international oil. Mm. Uh, so the, uh, the, uh, the increase of Al-Qaeda operations uh, also have, have been uh, used by, uh, the, uh, on the face of uh, the uh, Houthi rebels as they uh, plan to take control of the coastal city uh, last year. We hear that Saudi Arabia is recruiting more army forces to back its existing troops in this ongoing war against Houthi rebels. What is the current status of this war? Because from the outside looking in, it seems like no side is winning, only terrorist groups like Daesh and its ordinary citizens who are getting the brunt of it as normal. Yes, uh, the, what, what is happening in the coastal city of Aden now, the, uh, the, we, we can't tell exactly if these uh, army recruits uh, are, also be, uh, are also planned to be transferred to the, uh, to the Saudi Arabia's southern uh, borders where the uh, Saudi Arabia is uh, facing uh, an increasing uh, re uh, attacks by the Houthi rebels uh, backed by uh, uh, army units allied to the former President Ali Abdullah Saleh. Uh, these, uh, the, these kinds of increasing uh, attacks have forced Saudi Arabia to recruit uh, m many uh, people from the south uh, of Yemen in order to, uh, to stand against the uh, increasing attacks by the Houthi rebels and also backed by the, uh, the, uh, uh, the army units allied to the former president. So far, the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the, the use of uh, these uh, army units and also the, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the declaration of Daesh that uh, all the security and army uh, units are, uh, are subject to its attacks uh, as, the, uh, as the accuse them that they are being allied to, uh, to, to, the, to the enemies of Islam and what they, what they describe such uh, things. But so far, the Al-Qaeda, as many observers describe, have been used also the, in, the, in the current chaos in the, in the region and also to, to create uh, the, the, the divisions among, uh, among, among the Yemenis. But so far, yeah, m many people are hoping that with the, with the upcoming expected uh, talks that would t take place in Kuwait, the, the, the chaotic situation would be resolved, uh, especially as the Houthi rebels and, uh, and also uh, uh, politicians that are uh, lied to the former president have accepted to, to join the, the talks in Kuwait and also to give concessions uh, as the, uh, the, the, US, the U.S. Secretary of State has outlined 
line that the, the, the current war on Yemen should be stopped okay. and the, the political factions should give concessions in order to resolve their differences. Okay, many thanks for that. Mohammed Al-Atab there for us from Sana.